Hello everyone, I'm Mohamed Fayyaz, a PhD student at the University of Delaware. And today I will be presenting our work, bringing at home pediatric sleep apnea testing closer to reality. Sleep apnea is a breathing disorder affecting one to 2% of children in the United States. Clinicians diagnose apnea using polysomnography or PST. This is a process that records biosignals during a sleep in the lab. While PSC is effective and performs well, it brings about numerous challenges, including complexity, high cost, intrusiveness, and not being accessible outside of the lab setting. Another alternative is home testing systems. However, there is no at-home apnea testing specifically designed for children, and this is an understudied area. In this work, we present a new method for detecting apnea in pediatric populations. And then we study the role of various modality commonly present in PSG in apnea detection to investigate the possibility of at-home apnea detection using less complex systems. Our proposed method consists of a customized pipeline based on transformers. It has five components. First component are data sources. Then we have segmentors and tokenizers. And lastly, we have a few layers of transformers and an MLP head that acts as a classifier. We studied three major research questions in our experiments. First, we wanted to know if our model outperforms a state-of-the-art apnea detection approach. To find the answer, we tested our model on, on two large PSC datasets with pediatric patients. In our experiments, we found that our proposed method outperforms existing state-of-the-art methods. Second, we wanted to know if there is a subset of PSD signals that achieve comparable performance to the entire PSD signals. We investigated the performance of our model trained with different combination of signals available in PSD. We found that the model that has been trained on ECG and oximetry achieves a comparable result in comparison with the model that has been trained on all existing modalities. Finally, we wanted to know the performance of our model across different age groups. We assessed the performance of our model for patients in different age groups, and we found that the apnea detection is more challenging in younger age groups. However, our model's performance does not vary much for different age groups. In conclusion, we presented a new method to identify apnea events. Through extensive experiments, we found that no single signal achieves PSC level performance. However, using ECG and SpO2 achieved performance close to entire PSC signals. So our work may inform a path to at home testing for children that are more accessible than PSG. I would be delighted to talk about our work further. Please come to my poster.